Praise the Lord, church. We thank the Lord for a good morning. Uh, we'll start with the call to worship from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government, sh sh and the government, government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give all the praise. We give all the honor for your doings and for your blessing upon our life, Jehovah. We are happy to be in your presence, Jehovah Father, for this opportunity, O Lord, to come before thee, O Lord. We pray for your presence to be together with us, O God. We give us a good start, a continue, a good end, Jehovah, King of all glory. Guide us all through, Jehovah, that our service be acceptable unto you, O Lord. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. We welcome our praise and worship to continue.
Jehovah. There is none like you, Jehovah Jireh. Rima Mama, Rima Ganda. I worship you, Jesus. I give you all the praise. I give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's proclaim you to be worthy. Yes, Lord. pray. Precious everlasting Father, we are so much humbled in your presence. Lord, we, we worship you, Lord. We adore you. We thank you, Lord, for this Father that you have brought us, O Jehovah, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for each and every single thing that you have done unto us, O Lord. Our Father and our Lord, we want to continue, Lord, to worship you and to continue to commit ourselves unto your able hands, O Lord. Even as we pray, the Lord, may you continue to guide us, O Lord, as individuals, O Father. We want to thank you, Lord, for the Father that you have brought us, Lord, as a nation, O oh, Father. We want to thank you, Lord, for this far and for the great thing that you have done unto us, O oh, Jehovah, Lord. We want to pray the Lord. May you continue, Lord, to, 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 to encourage our readers, Lord. May you continue to inspire them, Lord. May you continue to feed them with your wisdom, O oh, Lord. They may be able, Lord, to guide us well, O oh, Jehovah, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this Father that you have brought us, Lord, as a church, O oh, Jehovah, Lord. Our Father and our Lord, you have been gracious and you have been merciful unto us, O oh Lord. We pray that, Father, may you continue to inspire us, O oh Lord, and we continue to guide us, O oh Father, that we may continue to do your will, O oh Lord, and to do your work, O oh Father, in accordance with your, will, your wish, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Lord, for the families, O oh Lord, whatever they are, Lord Jehovah, Lord, we want to commit them unto your able hands, O oh Lord, not forgetting our children, O oh Father. Our Father and our, pray, our Lord, we pray the Lord, may you continue to guide them, O oh Lord, to inspire them, O oh Jehovah, Lord, and, and we as Lord, as, a, as, as parents, O oh Father, may you help us, Lord, teach them Lord, your ways, O oh Jehovah. You, may, you pray, may you help us, Lord, to be a good Lord, model, O oh Father, Lord, that we may be able, Lord, to raise a generation, O oh Father, that will honor you, Lord, to respect you, Jehovah, Lord, and they will obey you, Jehovah, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Lord, for each and every one of us, O oh Lord, who, was, who is watching us, O oh Lord, wherever you are, Lord, we pray that, Father, may you visit each and every one of us, O oh Lord, and meet with us, O oh Lord, 
the very point of our needs, O oh Jehovah Lord. We commit ourselves unto your able hands, O oh God, and we pray that, Father, may you continue to strengthen us, O oh Father, in our areas of weakness, O oh Jehovah Lord. May you remember, our oh Lord, our workplaces, O oh Lord, and whatever it is that we do, Father, to earn a living, Jehovah Lord. We pray that, Father, may you continue to be to reign, to, to, to release your blessing unto us, O oh Lord, even as you help us, Lord, to honor you, O oh Father, Lord, with everything the Lord you have given unto us, O oh Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you, Lord, and we adore you, Jehovah, Lord, for you are great God, you are merciful God, and we know that, Father, you continue to be with us, O oh Lord, you continue, Lord, to bless us, O oh Father, you continue, Lord, to be faithful to us, O oh Father, Lord, for you have never left us, O oh Lord, for a single minute, O oh Father, Lord. We worship you, Lord, and we adore you, O oh Father, and it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and we believe. Let's pray. Let's say our Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We thank you. The, we thank the Lord for this. Father, let's appreciate our God. This moment, we welcome our minister to pray for our, for our children. We will sing a hymn. today and we know that you've continued to keep well and keep safe but above all to trust God. We thank the Lord that wherever we are God is with us and today we are thinking of the peace that God gives us regardless of everything that is going on in our lives. We want to pray with you today wherever we are but before we pray yes we have to recite the Apostles Creed together. Will you help me? Yes, let us do it together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there she shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen and amen. So let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we honor you, we thank you, we glorify your name because you are reminding us to trust in you in every area of our lives. And you have been with us wherever we have been. You have been with us as we grow and each and every day. Lord, we thank you that we are your children and we are 
growing to fulfill your purpose. And Lord, as parents, help us to lead and teach the children you've given us in your way and to encourage them, to show them to fulfill your purpose and to trust you and to have your peace that surpasses human understanding. So Lord, we thank you today and we know you're still in control and we know you're still encouraging us for you remain to be God. May your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, our minister. Let's appreciate her. Appreciate her better. Uh, thank you for that session. We will come. Now it's the time for our readings. First reading is being done by Mother Wanjiro. Second reading is being done by Jemima Kanini. Welcome. Church. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah. Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses, chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. And I read. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, a branch from his root shall bear fruit, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and, and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what he sees, what his eyes sees, or decide dispute by what his ears hear, but the righteousness shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth, and he shall strike the earth with the root rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goats, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and the little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play with the, the hole of the cobra. The wind child shall put his hand on the, the adder's den. The last, verse 9 and the last one. They shall, they shall not hurt or destroy. In all my holy mountain, the, the earth shall be full of knowledge, the edge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The reading continues. Our second reading comes from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 79 through 70. Luke, chapter 1, verse 78 through 79. And I read, because in the reader mercy of our God, whereby the surprise, the sunrise shall visit us from on, from on eye, to give eye to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Then we go to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do, I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let, the, ne neither let them be afraid. Then we go to John chapter 16, verse 33, the last one. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have 
tribulations, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That comes the end of our readings. Thank you. God bless you for that session. To prepare our hearts to hear from the Lord, we will sing a hymn. As we continue um, listening to you, following after you, you remain to be God, God victorious. And we thank you this day. We take our thoughts captive, obedient unto Jesus Christ. Speak to our hearts and minds. Be with us, dear Lord. Fulfill your will in our lives. Have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are grateful that you have been with us and you're still with us right now. The Lord has continued to sustain us. I, your servant in the Lord, I'm Reverend Dawn, daughter of Gekandi and Wangoi Kubai, and Christ is Lord, my Savior, my Lord. And today we are truly grateful that um, part of our ushering team is with us and we thank the Lord for that. And of course, um, some other people, uh, we are several. So we thank the Lord for that, even as we continue to trust the Lord in our lives. 
So um, we have been going um, through a journey this year, and today our theme is the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Very simply, we are focusing on Jesus, who we are told of as a Prince of Peace. Allow me to state again our call to worship and our readings. Our call to worship was uh, taken from Isaiah 9, 6. Our first reading, Isaiah 11, verse, verses 1 uh, to 9. And our second reading, Luke 1, verses 78 and 79. And John 14, uh, 14 27 and 16, 33. If you remember um, much or little, please remember this. We cannot fight our battles. It's God who fights them for us. And indeed, Christ, even before he appeared in the flesh, we know that it was, the, it was said of him and it was known that he will be coming. And even as far back as the Old Testament, scripture was written that points us to the person of Christ. And when we talk of wonderful counselor, mighty God, um, everlasting father, and prince of peace, We can see a character of God here reminding us that for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And we are told of the way we will get saved, our salvation, through belief in him. For indeed, the work um, has of salvation is not ours. We have no strength, no ability whatsoever. And because Christ brings a newness, a strength, an ability we did not have. We are told in, he brings us peace. Peace that can only come from God. Peace that is peace like no other. And that's why even in, in our readings when we are being told, um, actually they talk of his ancestry from the stump of Jesse and uh, he has a Lord's spirit on him. With righteousness, he shall judge the poor um, and decide with equity, for, with equity for the meek of the earth. And righteousness shall be the belt of his waist and faithfulness the belt of his loins. So this is a very key issue here about righteousness, faithfulness, peace. And for us to even get it uh, further, we are shown, um, you know what we would call uh, wild and domestic animals who honestly do not dwell together in harmony because one ends up being food for the other, showing such a contrast where the wolf can dwell with the lamb or a leopard lying uh, down with their, with their young goat. And we can see such a contrast because not everything flows from the way 
we would envision it when God comes around. Even what seems impossible can be turned around in our lives. Even that which is strenuous and seeming impossible and very difficult, and what seems like can totally take us under, the Lord can create a new dispensation for us. So beloved in the Lord today, even as we think of Jesus and the work of grace in our lives, don't let anything or anyone rob you of the peace that can only come from the Lord. Because of the tender mercy of our God, whereby the sun shall visit us from on high to give light to those who sit in darkness and, and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. I've just read Luke 1, uh, 78 through 79. So he gives light to those who sit in darkness and even those who may be in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. I don't know where you're seated today or what situation you may be in, but this is what I know for sure. There's no darkness that is too much for God to penetrate through. There's no pain that is too much that God cannot deal with. He is above any pain, any darkness. He is our strength, even light, he is our light. And he is the only one who can guide our feet into the way of peace. So don't look for your help in things that will be temporal. Don't look for help in persons or the powers that be, as we say. Remember your limitations as a human being Accept that you cannot do much without God. And remember, he's the one to guide our feet into the way of peace. Just release yourself to God. He is ever faithful, ever true. Righteousness, he is it. He is everything that we long to be. And as you find yourself in situations, do not... Allow yourself to be swallowed by sorrow, by sin, by darkness. Why should you, when we have the Prince of Peace, why should you be tied to the sins of the past, to the messes that have been, when we have the Prince of Peace? You're not just a Christian because of a name you bear. You're not just a Christian because you could do anything for yourself. You and I are Christians because of the work of Christ in our lives. And when you become a Christian, it's a whole package. There'll be moments of trouble, suffering. And the Lord said, yes, these things will find you and they will be difficult. However, he is our peace. In John, we were reminded, I, peace, I live with you. Imagine. I know people who've been left for death to deal with. But our Lord Jesus was assuring them then and us today that peace, I live with you. My peace, I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give. to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So you've been given the very thing that belongs to Christ. My peace, he says, I give to you. And it's not like the world. The world will come and take something from you. And he's not giving us something fake or something small or something fake or something that will not last. He is giving us his peace. The very thing that only God, only by 
following him, Jesus will we get. John 16.33 is also very dear to me when I think of what he says. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. So you will not get peace in anything else, not in indulging in all these things the world has to offer or looking back and feeling sorry for yourself. It is in Christ. These are his words to us, that in me you may have peace. In the world, in the world you'll have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The word but is very important, especially when it comes after something negative or painful has been said. Yes, there will be tribulation. Yes, there will be trouble. Yes, we will go through challenges. But take heart. I, says our Lord Jesus, have overcome the world. So you've been given the real deal. You've been given something authentic. You've been given peace. So no matter what you're battling today, no matter how draining, straining, difficult it has been for you, when you have the Lord Jesus in your life, by his terms and the way he wants to do it in our lives, he doesn't train for us to rule over him or to insist that he does certain things for us at certain times or in certain ways. When he becomes Lord in our lives, or as he continues being Lord in our lives for those who have been Christians for long, remember, he has his way in our lives. We may go through tribulation, it is stated. We may go through temptations. We may go through things we may not even want to talk about. But beloved in the Lord today, remember, we have been given that peace that even though it looks like um, it's monstrous or difficult, it looks like the wild animals that may want to eat the domestic ones, we are going to trust in the Lord because he is the one who calms our hearts. He is the one who trains us for every single area of our lives. So don't worry today. Continue to trust in the Lord. Focus on the Lord regardless of your situations. And... As the Prince of Peace continues to reign, you and I will experience that peace. The peace that surpasses human understanding. The peace that reminds us the storms may continue, but in our hearts we will be calm. Not because we have any strength or knowledge or whatever else, but knowing that God who reigns is still in control. That Christ has paid the debt of sin for you and for me today. So embrace that peace, not because of circumstances, but because of the giver. Embrace Christ, and Christ comes with peace. Some people are in a place where they barely managed to buy a ticket, and they didn't know that with a ticket you could enjoy all the facilities of a ship. It was many years ago. So they kept on staying away when people went to eat. They kept on staying away when people did um, all the activities they were to do together because they thought they had to pay for every single thing. Until one day someone noticed and asked them, didn't you know at the point you got the ticket, the ticket was enough for every single thing that you need to do on the ship, whether it is to eat or to sleep, or to engage in other activities that are lawful and godly, you can do all that. So today, with Christ in our hearts, smile at your storm, because Christ reigns, and Christ will see you through. May the Lord strengthen you and I today, as we continue to focus on him, and to trust in him, and to be ready for whatever comes, because he is leading us. He's ever faithful, ever true. I will, we will take a moment to pray together. Take a moment to pray for yourself.
We give you thanks and praise dear Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. You who is the giver of peace, you've been with us. You who has granted us your direction, we don't take it for granted. Some of us do not know you and are seeking to know you. Some of us are no, have not been born again, not realizing that we don't even bring ourselves to you. You drew us to yourself. For those of us who are re desiring to hand over the reins or the controls of our lives to you, Lord, lead us that we may say without fear that we've been saved by Jesus Christ our Lord and that we live knowing that he's a prince of peace and directed by your spirit so that it's not about us anymore. And for those of us who have been living as Christians but struggling with the temptations and tribulations, remind, you've reminded us that it's about you and you give us peace. So today we want to hold on to that peace, that peace that can only come from you, that the world does not give. For indeed you, you're reminding us that you're righteous, you're faithful, and you're the giver of peace in all our situations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, um, we are going to end with a clip that um, is showing us someone who was looking for peace in all the wrong things. We will see a person who is lost in alcoholism. But finally, a Christian, some Christians gave up on this person and thought she's far too gone, but one Christian went out of her way with the duty of a good Christian and reached out and showed the person the love of Christ, that only Christ can give you that peace and strength. So let us watch together and be blessed. Amazing grace, how sweet mama, mi ata ni kakuwa na stre, mi siyezi lewa ivo, yu ulevi yake, siya kawaida iyo. Na amekua hivi kila siku. Mi na shuku, watoto, na watoto wake, hey, squeeze yata, ni kama washanza kuwa waizi, unaona ngatu uko kwa barabara, ule na kasijua, bas, miyao. Watu tuwata wapewa ungu chakula. Mama wa kitafuta ni pombe tu. Ni pombe. Ni pombe. Mnaeza ongea, mnaeza sema vini mutasemu. But until you walk in her shoes. Walk in her shoes. Simu nisikia. Simu nwe uluku natuambia. Nisikia. 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 No one knows her story. Wachina na uyo na jifanya wa mungu. Suu chukue basi wa tutu wake ukainao. Una jifanya wa mungu. Mchukue basi. Mchukue. Sia watoto siku ingine ya pale. Wanaomba. I may not do that. I may not be able to take the kids. Lakini vile nitafanya. I'll try and reach out. Nisawa. Nisawa. Jesus baby. All to you. Oh, <laughs> 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 Even my children, they deserted. But God has always been there. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see. I don't 
he could be your friend, but just a temporary friend. He'll give you a temporary sol solution to your problems. Mm. But I want to talk to you about someone who will give you a permanent solution to your problems. Okay. So you the candle to get. Oh. You want to talk to me about what? About God. And what? I want to tell you how, how much God loves you. How? And how much he wants you to stop what you're doing, mm. drinking, mm. and he's going to renew your life. Oh. He's going to give oh. you a new oh. lease of life. Oh. Wacha ni kusomea neno kutoka kwa kitabu cha Wakorintho. Oh, Corinthians. Yeah. Corinthians. Yes, yes. yes. Exactly. Naona unajua Biblia. <laughs> yes. Corinthians. First Corinthians mm. chapter 6 mm. verse 12. Verse 12. Oh. Read. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nasema all, those, all things are lawful for me, mm. but not all things are help, help, helpful. No, okay. Sasa hii pombe mm. haikusaidi. Itakupatia yeah. relief ya muda kidogo. Mm. Alafu kesho ukiamka, mm. shida zako zimeongezeka. Mm. Lakini Mungu atakupatia pumziko mara moja na ya kutosha. Mm. Na kupea uhai wa milele. Mm. So ningetaka tuombe na wewe ndio huyu rafiki wa muda kidogo uwatane na yeye. Mm waanze kutembea na Mungu. Mm. 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 Mungu anakupenda sana. Na pia mimi nakupenda sana dada yangu. Mm. Hey. Mm. for me. Yeah, yeah, let me pray for me. Let me pray for you. Mm. Father God in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this sister of mine. Thank you because you love her with an everlasting love. I pray that this day dear Lord you will save her and change her life dear God. Thank you for her life. Thank you for bringing her into the kingdom. I, I, I release her from all the chains of drunkenness and uh, a disorderly behavior and even all sorts of immorality. Mm -hmm. Lord, mm -hmm. write her name in the book of life. Mm -hmm. I thank you for loving her. I thank you because you're going to change her life. Mm -hmm. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 When the life so maneno, it's a quartier EBD. I will not so. Thank you. When I show up in the Kupereka Nyobani, uh, down the uh, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. near the river. Mm -hmm. After some time, I have to take a look. Yes, yes, ma'am. Utarude kwa ke mungu What is threatening to drown you? What has been putting you down? What have you been through? What stole your hope? Why do you think you're far too gone? Who told you God cannot get to you where you are? Why are you trying to control the way God has to reach out to you? He can use anything and everything. He doesn't have to use the way you want him to. Don't let your past drown you or suffocate you. There's still hope for you. There's still life in you. There's still strength being supplied to you. It doesn't matter what they said, you said, was done, could have been. Don't give up now. Christ still reigns. If you've been the person to discourage another, repent and live a different life. Encourage others. If you've been the discouraged one, move on, shake off the dust. Emerge victorious. Don't let a bad experience make you never try to live for God again. Or disappointment when you set your sights on something and God decided to do it in a different way. Don't limit God in that. See God in your challenge. See God in every area of your life. It doesn't matter whether they said you couldn't do it. It doesn't matter whether it looks impossible. You will emerge victorious. You can. You will. Just rise and move on. Christ enabling you. So don't look at that past. There's still hope. Don't be tied to what others said. Yes, many things are permissible. But not everything is beneficial. You, my friend, belong to God. And he has a purpose for you. He is, is still in control of your life. So 
emerge victorious. Be strengthened no matter what you're going through. Don't let the past, don't let difficulties, don't let disappointments or even joys ruin it for you or stop you or discourage you. There's still hope. You can overcome that oppression. You can, you can overcome that obsession. You can overcome, not because of your own strength, but the strength supplied to you, regardless of where you are right now, where you've been, or even how dark the future looks. He holds today, he holds tomorrow. You may not know what the future holds, but know God who holds it for you. You will overcome. You will emerge victorious. You are emerging victorious. May the Lord bless you. Now we'll pray for our offerings, tithes and offerings. Let us stand. And we will have our, our numbers our, for those of us who may want to give by our, the till number of their accounts. They, be, they are being shown to us. We thank the Lord. Let us pray. We are indeed grateful, Lord, that you've reminded us to trust in you. And even in matters of our finances, we are trusting in you. We are giving and have given and continue to give our tithes a tenth of what you've given us for the work of your kingdom. We are giving our offerings. Some of us have thanksgiving to give, and even others have pledged different um, things to you. And here we are giving to be faithful to you in areas of our finances and in every other area. So we pray that these resources that we are giving back to you, for indeed they are from you, will be used for your glory and we receive your blessing together with what is left with us that it may also be a blessing to us. May your will be done in Jesus' name we pray. The leader of service will mention her name and then I give the benediction. Please the Lord. Who is leading? I'm Cardilito. I'm born again. Thank you so much for coming. Have a blessed week. We thank the Lord for you. And we are sending you out to the world that is full of wolves and dangers. But take heart. Christ is with you. I release you in the peace of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you his peace, the peace of the Lord that surpasses human understanding. Guard your minds and your hearts in the knowledge and love of Christ that you may live in him and for him regardless of situations all the days of your life cleansed by the blood of the Lamb in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll have our recessional hymn, hymn medley, and we are grateful to Modani and Gure for leading us. There is sunlight on the hilltop, there is sunlight on the sea, and the golden beams are sleeping on the soft and verdant lea. But a richer light is feeling all the chambers of my heart. For the dwellers there, my Savior, and His sunlight on the world. Oh, the sunlight, beautiful sunlight, oh, the sunlight in the heart.
to live and follow Thee. Destitute, despite forsaken, Thou from hence my own.